So we're out cutting the uh, barley and peas here. Not a lot here. It's uh, it's pretty thin. Granted, this is light ground, but it's dry. We're in a drought, that's for sure. If you look at the drought map, we are in a severe drought. So we need rain. And the peas didn't really take. There's some peas in here. There's not a lot of peas. So I've already cut. Normally we cut the pasture for grass. I've cut the pasture for grass. And then I did the field over by the highway, which was a little better in terms of tonnage. There's a little more there. It looks a lot nicer. The peas came up a little better. I mean, it's time to cut it. We're not going to chop it for silage or anything. We'll just use it for hay. And this field is, yeah, it's not the greatest. It's not the best crop, not the worst crop. Like I said, when you're in a drought, you'll take what you can get. And yes, we're using the 49.95. Had to do a little work on it before we got started. And it's been working a lot better. It's an older machine. Works pretty good, works pretty good. It's got air conditioning, that's the main thing. Yeah, so she got a little hot here and I shut her down she cooled off so it tends to happen when it's dry like this the all the chaff and dust gets in between the two condensers here and gets her clogged up so we'll bring the air compressor out we'll blow it out real good I'll just keep it out here as a precaution Alright guys, we got the we got the baler hooked up. Don't mind the tractor, it's a little dirty, I know. Fix it on my uh power washer. I'll get it, I'll get it going here soon. We got the baler back. 
from inspection. Thing looks pretty good. Um, Oiler's working again. New chains on this side of the pickup, other side of the pickup. Uh, new pins in the belts. A few new teeth on the pickup. Nothing too major. The only one major problem we had was we needed a new bearing in the main pickup shaft. Other than that, everything's pretty good. They greased it all up for us, so just about ready to head out and uh, do some baling from the pasture because the pasture grass is ready. We got the 4020 over there on a rotary rake. John Deere's going to let us use for today or for the hay we got right now. And yeah, we'll get going here. This is going to be a little slower than using the wheel rake breaking two rows together at the same time. This is just one row at a time, so never never used one of these before, so Far, it looks like it's doing a great job here. It's just grass. Dad was concerned about how rough the pasture was. Neighbor told us just go ahead and use it in the pasture. They work great in the pasture. So. There's one row done. Here we go, right behind the rake. Looking pretty good. It's the last little bit in the uh, pasture. A little slower raking one row together, but one row at a time. But Dad likes the way the, the rake works. Out of bail here. There he goes. He's just running the tractor at idle, too, so these things move pretty quick. Raises it and lowers it. And we're done. Hey guys, just out here walking to the other semi. We got all the bales rolled up, or all, everything raked and rolled up, ready to pick up the bales. We didn't get a ton of bales out of here. So, I'm just walking to the other semi. We got both the semis out here, both the loaders. And we're carrying the bales in this field over to where we got a few bales on top in the pasture, so. Get them out of here, move them up there where they're a little more handy. So that's what we're doing today. Just set them right here on top of the hill, right by the gate so we can get them easy and haul them home pretty easy. We don't need them right now. That's way over there, loading up 